In this video, we explain how to set up your VX520 terminal. The VX520 can communicate via an analog phone line and with a wired IP connection. You can use either connection type depending on your preference, though the IP connection is faster. First, you need the terminal to communicate to the host. If you decided to go for an IP connection option, you need to connect your terminal to an active IP connection. Remove the cover from the bottom of the terminal. Take an Ethernet cable from the box. Plug one end of the cable into a modem or a router and the other end into the port labeled with the letters ETH underneath the terminal. If you opted for a dial connection type, take a phone cord with a functional dial connection and plug it into the port labeled with a phone icon underneath the terminal. Now that the connection cable is plugged in, let's power on the terminal. Plug the power cable into the power port marked with a lightning bolt icon. Lock the cable counterclockwise and place the cover back on the terminal. The terminal will light up and go to the main screen. If you are using the terminal as a standalone unit, you are good to go. If you are using an extended pin pad, you need to connect the pin pad to the terminal. It is very important to make sure the terminal is powered down before connecting the pin pad. Remove the cover underneath the terminal. Unlock clockwise and unplug the power cable. Take a pin pad cord and plug it into the port labeled RS-232. You can now plug the power cord back into the power port on the terminal. The pin pad will light up and display welcome. The terminal will go to the main screen. You are good to go.